Hello, my friend. This is Andrew from Sommo, where we help clients build awesome no-code uh, apps. And in today's tutorial, I will share with you how to implement your own affiliate or referral program for your own Bubble app completely for free without using any third-party services. So let's jump in. To start from, in your model, create two fields for your user referral code. This will be a unique code for each user and referred by code. It will be in the code uh, of the user who referred this uh, first user to your uh, platform or to your application. Now set a unique value for the referral code for each user. A place to do that can be, for example, in the backend workflow, in the database trigger, when the uh, under the condition user before change is empty, meaning this will trigger only for uh, new users, only once, that's exactly what we need. We will uh, make a change to this user, and then user now, meaning a new user, and assign a referral code as a random formula, random string with uh, 12 uh, characters using a different combination of letters and uh, numbers. Awesome. Now in your uh, UI application, create a place where your users can see and copy their unique referral link. Uh, it can be a simple screen like this, where it will start from your uh, website home URL plus query parameter. In our case, it is R plus user's unique um, referral uh, code. Good pattern like copy to uh, copy it so that users can share it with uh, their uh, friends, followers, and so spread the word about your awesome uh, application. Now, when someone takes this link uh, and clicks on them or inserts them in the um, uh, or inserts them in the uh, browser, you need to uh, check this uh, query parameter from the URL and store it. A great place to store it is in cookies, in browser cookies, so that uh, you can persist it over some time. For example, if the user clicks on the link but does not complete the sign up immediately and then leaves, you can uh, then later retrieve this value and still assign the correct referral uh, for the user after the successful sign up. We will use for that a simple plugin called uh, Tiny Cookies. It is completely free and uh, easy to use. So let's check it out how to implement that. And uh, I'll do it in a condition user is logged out so that we will save this value only for uh, users who are not authorized. We don't want to give attribution to any users who are already uh, uh, part of our uh, system. So when the user is logged out, we will check if the our R is in the URL and is not empty. And if yes, then we will save it to our uh, cookies under name up prefer underscore underscore up for uh, 30 days. Uh, great. Now when it's already in our cookies and uh, new users sign up, for example, in the uh, sign up workflow, we will retrieve this cookie uh, by the same value. And uh, in the can in the event uh, cookie value updated. Don't immediately after this workflow check the value of this cookie because it's an element state and states are synchronous and they don't get updated immediately. So most likely in the next exact action, it will still be empty. So in the condition cookie value is updated, we check what is this cookie value. And if it is not empty and the users referred by code is not empty, we assign it to uh, this user. So that way we track who invited who to your awesome bubble application. Let's see how it works in practice. So uh, I have here my Olivia's account and their for a link, and she already invited to see three users. Great, Olivia. And uh, insert it in the new browser window. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, let's check out our cookie session if it indeed stored correctly. Okay, let's find our upper refer. Yes, we see that it is value yp8, same value that uh, was here in the uh, in the URL. So even if I, for example, reload my session and uh, remove it from the URL, this value you can see is still saved in the browser cookies and I can I will attribute this value correctly to my user. Let's create a new account. For example, for Alex, set a new password and a name and uh, let's call him Hugs. Okay, I sign up as an Alex to the application using Olivia's referral code. And you can see this Alex Hux is attributed to the Olivia's account as the user who Olivia uh, invited. At this point, when Alex uh, or invited user makes a purchase, start a subscription, etc., you can uh, add your own custom easily condition or logic to give uh, credits, discounts, more features uh, or any other 
incentives to the original user, in this case Olivia, who invited uh, the user. That's it. And these are a couple of uh, easy, simple steps that you can uh, leverage to implement a referral and affiliate program in your Bubble application completely free and without any third party services. Hope you find it useful and hope it brings you more users to your application and helps uh, spread the word of mouth about your create Bubble app. Happy no coding and take care.